morning learners! Are you excited for today's lesson? Come and join me in an awesome adventure in music, arts, PE and health. Dahil sa Mapi 8, DC 566, katawan ay liliglig, kaya halina at patutaw with Mom 8. Health Day Quarter 2 Lesson 3 Maternal Health Concerns Today's lesson objective discusses various maternal health concerns pre, during, and post-pregnancy. Below are some maternal health concerns that a mother may experience. Fill in the missing letters to form words. You have numbers 1 to 3. This is numbers 4 to 5. Write your answers in your notebook. Have you experienced taking care of your mother, sister, or any relatives during their pregnancy? How was your experience? What are your observations during their pregnancy? A new beginning. The reason why a man and a woman marry because they want to build a family. Pregnancy is a time for many changes. Women's body will go through a lot on the way to creating a new person. Phases of pregnancy. Three phases of pregnancy is called trimester. Each has significant developmental milestones. First trimester, second trimester, and the third trimester. The first trimester, the most fragile period, all major organs and systems in the baby's body are formed. Most birth defects and miscarriage occur during this phase. During the first trimester, each woman and each pregnancy is different and unique. Each woman may experience the following. Missed period, nausea, vomiting, heightened sense of smell, food aversions and cravings, heartburn or constipation, tender swollen breast, more trips to the restroom, fatigue, dizziness, and mood swings. The second trimester. As your body changes to make room for your growing baby, you may have body aches such as back, abdomen, groin, or thigh pain, stretch marks on your abdomen, breast, thighs, or buttocks, darkening of the skin around your nipples, a line on the skin running from belly button to pubic hairline, patches of darker skin usually over the chest, forehead, nose, or upper lip. Patches often match on both sides of the face. This is sometimes called the mask of pregnancy. There will be numb or tingling hands called carpal tunnel syndrome, itching on the abdomen, palms and soles of the feet. Call your doctor if you have nausea, loss of appetite, vomiting, jaundice or fatigue combined with itching. This can be signs of serious liver problem. Swelling of the ankles, fingers, and face. If you notice any sudden or extreme swelling or if you gain a lot of weight really quickly, call your doctor right away. This could be a sign of preeclampsia. The third trimester of pregnancy. Some new body changes you might notice in the third trimester include shortness of breath, heartburn, swelling of the ankles, fingers, and face. Hemorrhoids, tender breast which may leak, a watery pre-milk cold colostrum, your belly button may stick out, trouble sleeping, the baby dropping or moving lower in your abdomen, contractions which can be a sign of real or fake labor. Common pregnancy complications, the pre-pregnancy. Heterotrophic pregnancy is defined as the presence of multiple gestations with one being present in the uterine cavity and the other outside the uterus, commonly in the fallopian tube and uncommonly in the cervix or ovary. Dito ay dalawa ang nabubuong embryo, gunit yung isa ay mali ng pwesto. 
Here is an ultrasound of heterotopic pregnancy. We also have ectopic pregnancy. It's when a fertilized egg implants itself outside of the womb, usually in one of the fallopian tubes. Here is an image of an ectopic pregnancy where the growing egg is in the fallopian tube. Polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS is a hormonal disorder common among women of reproductive age. Women with PCOS may have infrequent or prolonged menstrual period or excess male hormone or androgen levels. Here is an image of a polycystic ovary versus the normal ovary. Pico symptoms, hair loss, hirsutism or pagtubo ng buhok sa bigote or balbas, pelvic pain, infertility, overweight, irregular periods, fatigue, high testosterone levels, and acne breakout. Another common pregnancy complication is anemia. This is during pregnancy. Your body produces more blood to support the growth of your baby. If you're not getting enough iron or certain other nutrients, your body might not be able to produce the amount of red blood cells it needs to make this additional blood. This is the normal amount of red blood cells and on the right is the anemic amount of red blood cells. Anemia symptoms, fatigue, headache, yellowish skin, irregular heartbeats, chest pain, cold hands, dizziness, leg cramps, insomnia. Low-lying placenta or placenta previa is a condition in which the placenta lies very low in the uterus and covers all or part of the cervix. Placenta previa can cause severe bleeding during pregnancy and delivery. Commonly, women with this condition were advised to bed rest. Here is an image of the placenta previa. Preeclampsia is a pregnancy complication characterized by high blood pressure and signs of damage to another organ system, most often the liver and the kidneys. Gestational diabetes is high blood sugar or glucose that develops during pregnancy and usually disappears after giving birth. It can happen at any stage of pregnancy but is more common in the second or third trimester. Common symptoms of gestational diabetes is frequent urination, blurred vision, weakness, and thirst. How to deal with gestational diabetes during pregnancy? Monitor blood sugar level regularly, eat the right carbohydrates, eat a healthy breakfast, drink cinnamon tea, opt for a sugar-free diet, take prescribed medicine as directed, and sleep well. Hyperemesis gravidarum is the medical term for severe nausea and vomiting during pregnancy.
Miscarriage is when an embryo or fetus dies before the 20th week of pregnancy. Mer miscarriage usually happens early in your pregnancy. In miscarriage, there is vaginal spotting or bleeding, cramping or abdominal pain, fluid or tissue passing from the vagina. Spotting early in pregnancy doesn't mean miscarriage is certain. Still, contact your doctor right away if you have any bleeding. Post or after pregnancy, the birth of a baby can trigger a jumble of powerful emotions from excitement and joy to fear and anxiety. Most new moms experience postpartum or baby blues after childbirth, which commonly include mood swings, crying spells, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping. Baby blues typically begin with the first two to three days after delivery and they may last for up to two weeks. Symptoms of postpartum psychosis, hallucinations, delusions, confusion, suicidal thoughts, severe mood swings, paranoia, and insomnia. After giving birth, women also experience postpartum bleeding, vaginal C-section healing, mood swings, milk production, and night sweats. Now, can you suggest possible activities and ways on how to ease the complication and conditions a mother is going through before, during, and after pregnancy? Write your answers in your notebook. Thank you for listening. See you again for the next adventure in music, art, PE, and health aid.